the army that will help Meghan look her best on her big day, and the strict list of do's and don'ts for her wedding guests. The face expert, skin guru Nicola Joss has been Meghan's go-to facialist for five years. Joss, 36, who counts Kate Moss and Alicia Keys as clients, is known for her 260 pounds inner facials, which involve massaging the face from inside the mouth to tone and tighten facial muscles. She says, there is no downtime so brides can have won the morning of their wedding. It helps release tension from the face, which can build up due to wedding stress. The meditation guru, model turned mindful meditation coach Light Watkins met Meghan in 2014 when she attended his 1,000 pounds, four-day initiation class. After laying an offering of flowers and fruit to the gods at a makeshift altar, Meghan was given her own mantra, to help calm and center the mind. She says, Light is one of the people whose energy is palpable the moment you meet him, adding that the 46-year-old seminars changed my life. The King of Curls Chelsea-based hairstylist Miguel Perez, whose clients include Amal Clooney and Millie McIntosh, told the most, Amal put Meghan and me together when she moved here. We have talked about it, the wedding, and have a plan. I can't say any more but we know what we're doing. He is famed for creating natural bouncy curls the brow shaper megan will ensure her brows are perfectly plucked by going to stylist shill riley a regular at riley's mayfair salon since 2016 megan favors the audrey a 50 pound shaping treatment inspired by audrey hepburn which instantly lifts the face it involves tinting threading and tweezing and should be done two days before the wedding megan visits the salon fortnightly for manicures and pedicures the body coach the bride to be is a devoted fan and best friends with her pilates instructor heather dorak a dancer who started the pilates platinum studio in la 10 years ago dorak 36 credits pilates with building lean strong bodies since moving to london megan has been a regular at hardcore pilates which offers boot camp style classes. The brow shaper, Megan will ensure her brows are perfectly plucked by going to stylist Shill Riley. A regular at Riley's Mayfair Salon since 2016, Megan favors the Audrey, a 50 pound shaping treatment inspired by Audrey Hepburn, which instantly lifts the face. It involves tinting, threading, and tweezing and should be done two days before the wedding. Megan visits the salon fortnightly for manicures and pedicures. The body coach, the bride to be, is a devoted fan and best friends with her Pilates instructor Heather Dorak, a dancer who started the Pilates Platinum Studio in LA 10 years ago. Dorak, 36, credits Pilates with building lean, strong bodies. Since moving to London, Megan has been a regular at Hardcore Pilates which offers boot camp style classes. Do bring hats, passports and cars. Don't bring swords, medals or presents. How the royal wedding guests are being marshaled for the big day with military precision. It may be the wedding of the year but those lucky enough to be invited to witness Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's big day will have to adhere to an unusually exacting series of do's and don'ts. Guests have been issued with seven pages of critical guidance dash and absolutely nothing has been left to chance. Couched in starchy language, it includes advice on when to use the loo, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., whether to bring a passport, yes, and whether to bring a gift, no. Transport instructions are meticulous and cover every eventuality. Guests are even warned to be aware of the level crossing on the B-470. Some might argue that Harry's forefathers planned military campaigns with less tactical forethought. Cameras are banned, along with any hand luggage except handbags and rain wear. Before the reception, all guests will be asked to surrender mobile telephones. And any devices used for image capture. The guidance adds. It should be noted that gifts cannot be brought to St. George's Chapel or the reception that follows at Windsor Castle. Guests are advised to seek further guidance on delivery arrangements for any gifts to Kensington Palace. Before heading to the service at the chapel, guests will undergo a security test three miles away at the Windsor Farm Shop, off the A308, which will become an accreditation area for the day. To get there. Guests must choose either the green route via junction 13 of the M25 or the more scenic red route, which takes in the riverside village of Datchant. Arrival by train or bus is strongly discouraged lest guests come into contact with the general public, whose large numbers could seriously inhibit movement. Once corralled inside the farm shop, guests, 
among them Sir Elton John and George Clooney, are requested to assist the Metropolitan Police, whose officers will check proof of identity, either a passport or a driving license. Motor coaches will be provided to transport guests to St. George's Chapel. While the dress code is standard, morning coat or lounge suit for men, and day dress and hat for women, there's an interesting addendum. Presumably to avoid a repeat of David Beckham's social oversight at Prince William and Kate Middleton's 2011 wedding, guests have been asked not to wear medals. The former England football captain caused mild disquiet when he arrived at Westminster Abbey wearing his OBE pin to the wrong side of his chest. Meanwhile, those tempted to accessorize their outfit another way have been told to think again. No swords, stresses the guidance. Elsewhere it notes, guests are advised that there are very limited toilet facilities in St. George's Chapel, but these are available for guests' use between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. at which point this facility will become restricted for the duration of the service. The guidance adds that the loos will reopen at 1.10 p.m.